friends. So here I am in front of my empty bookshelf space. Very exciting. This feels like it has been a long time coming, um, but only it's really been a few months. But this room has finally been prepped and ready to kind of start the transformation of making it a library, which means first step is actually putting my bookshelves up. And I'm really excited to sort of document that entire process. Obviously, this room still has a long way to go, but this is to me at least like the first big step of making it all come together. And I'm also really looking forward to getting all of my books out of their many, many boxes. That being said, structurally how this video is going to go is I'm gonna kind of have it the whole thing from beginning to end. Obviously, step one last night was getting all the bookshelves brought into this room. The ceilings in here are a bit lower and just like two inches taller than the shelves themselves. So we had to be pretty careful kind of like lifting them up, if you will. I'll have some footage of that overlaid. All right, we're on to bookshelf three. Oh, you're doing this alone, Clint? Kind of show up with the camera? No, I just... <laughs> but now, step two is to actually bring all of my boxes from storage, carry them in here, about like 20 book boxes or so, take them out of their boxes, get them prepped to go up. And then the organization, which is obviously the most fun part, goes from there. Watching this, everything is hopefully gonna be nicely sped up. You're not even gonna be able to tell how sweaty I'm about to get, but this is definitely a good workout, a little labor intensive moment, but always one of my favorite things to do. But before we jump into actually going to get the boxes of books, to bring them in here, let's do a quick overview of the shelves themselves in this room, like the overall setup of how it's gonna look for now. So the first two bookshelves are together side by side. This wall was large enough to house two at once, which is very exciting. This will be kind of my primary filming backdrop. Um, but of course I have two other shelves, which let's show you where those are. So the wall space in this room is not large enough to have all four shelves kind of back to back, but it is nice because I have a big window in here so I can actually have two shelves framing a big front window, which we love. And this one is also next to the fireplace. Hello. And then my last bookshelf, which is a little backlit, I apologize, is here on the other side of the same big window by the door. Also, you can see my filming chair and pretty much everything else in this room kind of shoved to the corner so it can be out of the way. But now let's begin the collection of boxes, shall we? Voila, now begins step two, which is taking all the books out of these boxes. Second stage is officially done. I've tried to organize it sort of cohesively, like I have literary fiction fantasy for those two shelves. And over there, I have this group of literary fiction sci-fi and some fantasy for this shelf. And then I have all of my YA books over there and middle grade for that shelf. But we'll see how successful I am once I actually get started. And so begins the third and final step assembly. Let's do this.
quick status update so far. I've decided to kind of mix my favorite fantasy with my kind of fantasy literary fiction style stories. So that is kind of what you're seeing here. I'm planning on double stacking the bottom for extra space. Um, and I'm about to do the top two shelves now. up my fantasy shelf in a bit but I'm gonna move on to this shelf which is primarily literary fiction and some other subgenres of contemporary fiction let's move this knife <laughs> relatively entertaining. I'm tired. <laughs> Thank you. 
just like that folks we are done here is like my primary two bookshelves again this is primarily comprised of fantasy some sci-fi and some like literary fantasy kind of mix in here so pretty aesthetically speaking i think this is my favorite this shelves hold my literary fiction thriller, contemporary mysteries, nonfiction, basically the catch-all of the not fantasy shelf. And then lastly, we have my middle grade and YA shelf comprising mostly of fantasy, but I do have some sci-fi and other genres mixed in. Alrighty guys, and that is the Organize My Library Room with me. I still have many grand plans for this room, so I'm excited to take you guys on the journey, but I'm so happy to have my books up so I can stare at them, be inspired to read. But yes, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you soon with another one soon. Goodbye.